Hi, it's Keith Daffrey and I'm here with Lance Newton. We're with Vexus Boats and today we happen to be in our East plant, which is where we manufacture our trailers. And in fact, we were just here talking about some of the differences and, and key components that we include on the trailers that we produce. But before we talk about those specifics, I think it's important from an overall perspective to understand that, that we believe that the trailer itself could be the most important option to the boat you're purchasing. And we believe that to the degree that we not only want to produce it ourselves, we want to service it, but a lot of effort goes into building this trailer. And it is done within this facility, but Lance, why don't we just talk about some of those key features. This happens to be an ADX trailer, and, and you'll start and I'll jump in, I'm sure, but let's just point out to the, the viewers what we're doing that's different. Yeah, I think the, to your point, Keith, the, one of the, the key aspects is that we build our own trailers. The same craftsmen that build the boat build the trailer. It's built specifically for the boat, and we do that here within our own facility. And obviously we have a new facility here that we've renovated, got a lot of space, it's very efficient, and it really produces a, a quality trailer. So one of the first things that, that we should talk about, Keith, is the frame. It's a channel sure. frame trailer. It's not a tube frame trailer like some of the others in the marketplace, and, and we do that so it will not rust from the inside out. We, we obviously coat that with a polyurea UV stable material and that's coated every square inch of this trailer frame. Yeah, coated. we should talk about poly because it, it first introduced itself to the world in, in the form of a bed liner that we'd spray in the pickup bed. And we did, going back from memory, gosh, it's been back in like 2005 when we implemented this idea and I think patented it at the time. And while it's commonplace on many trailers, they might be doing it over a tube trailer, to your point, that's gonna rust from the inside out, or they might be using an inferior type of poly that maybe doesn't have UV inhibitors, is gonna fade over time? That's the key. Polyurea is a very good industrial coating, but what makes it superior is the UV protection, and that's what we have in this trailer frame. Let's talk about the bunks for a minute, because uh, one thing I think is particularly hard to point out if you don't don't see the trailer without the boat on it, is how we forge the cross members, so they're not being cut and re-welded. That's always a risky proposition. And then these stanchions that we come off of actually have swivels, so these bunks swivel, and, and, and in this case, they're all two by six in diameter, or a width, and that allows us to really span the, the hull of that boat and carry it down the road. The key to that is they are built specifically for the boat. Yeah, they're not just bolted together. You see that a lot, where these trailers have got clamps or U-bolts where they're just made to, to, to not custom fit anything. And so, quite to the contrary, we're, we're designing each one of these trailers digitally so they'll nest the boat very carefully. We pay a lot of attention to the way that the hull is, the load is distributed on the trailer as well. So it's not just throw it on there, but we make sure that the proper load is on the center bunks and not as much on the outside bunks. So the only way to do that and the only way to accomplish that is by building your own cross members and building the correct upright brackets for that. I agree. Let's talk about our brake system for a minute because, you know, many of these trailers not only require brakes from, from a state law perspective, but we go so far as to put every tire on the ground with a brake. So as opposed to having one axle with and one without, we're putting these disc brakes on every tire on the ground. And then I think one thing that's easily overlooked as well is the fact that we've got a single bleed brake system. So we're using a banjo fitting to jump from caliper to caliper where service down the road, that, that person's going to thank us for that, where they can simply open one bleeder valve and the system's been purged. One location bleeding, and, and that's uh, certainly an easy task from a service perspective. Hybrid oil hubs, that's another must in our mind. These others that are out there just require too much maintenance or they're not reliable enough. And uh, certainly aluminum wheels. And, and you'll see on the fiberglass trailer where we give uh, multiple color options mm -hmm. for that larger diameter aluminum wheel. One thing you, we need to point out is the, the rings and the fenders are custom painted to match your boat. That's also another good point because if this boat happens to have been white, he would have white fenders and white trim rings just to complete the overall color match scheme. You know, while you're talking about fenders and and, uh, and how they match on the AVX or ADX style boats, on the fiberglass, we go so far as to build a matching fiberglass fender. And to me, that's a cool feature. That really makes the package look complete. It is, and, and these fenders are infused alongside the hull and the deck and the stringer system. So it's much like the, 
the fenders over here on the, the aluminum boat side. They're built in the main plant right alongside with that boat and they match that boat. And the fact of the matter is when your co-angler slides the whole of your boat up against this, he's go you're going to be a lot more proud of him than had it been a stainless steel fender or some other type of material other than what we've built here. It's got steps integrated into it. These fiberglass trailers are just, I mean, they're masterpieces of themselves. There's a parking brake on them standard. Another thing that I think is easily overlooked is we put a spare tire on everything. And not only do we do that, we nest it up in the tongue of the trailer. So it's, it's helping protect the boat from road debris. And it also gives you a, a clear line of sight on the shoulder side of the road. So you're able to see this clearance light on a rainy or uh, stormy night when otherwise that, that spare tire would literally be in the way. You know, as I was talking about the spare lance, you get up here to the area where you couple the boat or the trailer to the, uh, not only the boat, but your tow vehicle. That, that That's another thing we're doing different in the way that these witch stands are made and tailored to the specific boat setup itself. One of the things that you'll see right here is the ability to bolt on a step. Yeah, so well, many so. people, and, I, and if you've ever had one, it's like running boards on your pickup. That's You're right. like, why you I ever not have those? It. So you can buy that aftermarket or order it with the trailer and we'll bolt it right on and it's very easy to get to. Another one, it's not shown here, but we can, is uh, there's a pivoting step that we use on our ADX and our DVX product that allows it to, to center the step so you can make sharp turns, but then extend it back out for easy access to the boat when you're launching. We put a swing tongue on every trailer. So that gives a customer or the subsequent customer peace of mind when you're looking at this product and realize you needed another eight inches of clearance to fit in that garage or that storage space, we're, we're putting that in standard equipment. We should point out that we have adjustable winch stands on some of our AVX models. And that also just gives us the flexibility to make it fit just perfectly. You know, the wiring is another thing because you see this and anybody that's had much trailer experience, boat or utility, it doesn't matter. One of the more frustrating things in life are trailer lights. And so we put a lot of effort into taking that frustration away for the longevity of the, of the product. Let's talk about the LED system, how they're shrinked connectors, all that. Yeah, all the, uh, all the lights on the trailer are LED. We've talked about this before, but the galvanized conduit in the trailer protects the wiring harness over the For sure. Tray. The connectors on there are, are molded connectors. They're watertight. They're not going to let water get in and... Uh, no corrode. scotch locks. There's not one in this facility. It's not going to be corroding your wiring harness, so... And we marry all that to the tow vehicle with that seven-way connector, which is the standard today. It's got the coiled so it can extend depending on how your bumper or tow hitch might be. So it really just completes the setup all the way from the coupler to the, to the keel roller. You know, Lance, at the end of the day, I, I think it really comes down to this, is our heritage and our desire, that passionate pursuit of perfection, is the same with a trailer as it is with a boat. And I hope that shows through it. I think that, that if you've watched this and all, listen, we've not talked about all the features. There's many more. So I'd encourage you to spend time on our website, www.vexusboats.com, and just check it out because, listen, all trailers aren't created equal. Thanks again for joining us. We appreciate your time.